Uh, the complexity of the parts. Yeah. It sounds like almost a classical orchestra, like symphony orchestra, basically, at times, but with the rock instrumentation, you know? Yeah, it had, it had uh, like, those uh, dark chamber pieces, you know? And, um, it's complex yeah, it does, it does sound very, very European for the complexity of the rhythms. Yeah, and written rhythms, you know? It's not, it's not like a... It's not complex, like coming from like a, ja- a jazz or an Afro-Cuban or an Indian place where it's like improvisation yeah. over form and stretching. This is like written polymeters, very juxtaposition, yeah, it's, it's, jarring. It's very, rhythms, it's very you know? focused. It's very focused and it's very intentional. And yeah, it's very unsettling. Yeah, very jarring. unsettling. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's it's very beautiful in this way. Now, how does this how does this end up in the R- RIO world? They had to be related. I mean, they were they were with the original the bands, yeah, with Henry Cow and all that. Like this, the um, oh gosh, I'm forgetting off the top of my head now. Samla Samla Manis Mana. That's the Swedish band. They were involved that's the Swedish too. Swedish band, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that... Etron Fula Laban was involved, right? Which is one of my favorite, like one of my favorite albums that we've heard yeah. here, because. Because, man, that it, so much meat on the bone on an album like that for, for stuff that's written out and composed. Stormy Six. There you it's go. An Italian band. Oh, my brain still works somehow. 